What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 6 and we'll be talking about The Wrath of Becky, which is a sequel to Becky. And then we'll be talking about Evil Dead Rise to round it out. So just to kick it off because this is mostly a Scream 6 video as you see from the thumbnail and the video title. Scream 6 we know has the six Woodsboro survivors and the batch of new characters that we haven't met and we will not meet them until March of course. Uh, I've seen the discussion online related to which survivors out of the six have a chance of being the killer in Scream 6 if they were to go this route. Well, I think uh, just to go from process of elimination in my mind, we can instantly Im immediately eliminate Sam and Tara from that discussion because they are what I would say are modern Sydney Prescott's for this new creative team with their own unique struggles and issues that Ghostface wants to come after them for, similar to how Ghostface was targeting Sydney related to all the trauma related to Marine Prescott. We know Sam more so than Tara is the uh, new final girl of this trilogy. Now moving into Gail Weathers, she has an even less chance of being a killer in my mind just for the simple fact that she strikes me as someone who wouldn't jeopardize everything that she's worked so hard for just for that next groundbreaking story to the point that she dons the mask and becomes the killer. Also, we know that she just lost Dewey, so she must be struggling there with that. I'm not saying that couldn't lead to her snapping, I just don't think narratively and, and the way she's been written up until this point, I don't see her picking up a knife. I could, however, see something like this going down because it's not something that is completely off the table because if you were to tell me a narrative where she didn't kill anyone but actually orchestrated a pair of new killers coming to her city in order, in order to cause trouble just so she can have news to cover, then I wouldn't be shocked there and I would find it to be more likely than Gail just straight up killing people. I find that aspect to be more in line with Gail as a character than Gail just straight up say, hey, you know what, I'm going to go pick up a costume, pick up this knife, I'm going to do what the others have done, and I'm just going to go around killing people. I don't I don't see it happening. Mindy and Chad, to me, have a slim chance of becoming the killer in Scream 6, simply because these are Randy's niece and nephew, which to me means they either get the Randy Scream 2 treatment with a shocking death in some fashion, or some death that even outdoes what they did brutally to Randy in Scream 2, or they both get messed up really badly like Randy did, but somehow live. That's my thoughts on those characters. Now, I saved her for last. I'm going to talk about Kirby. Surprise, surprise. To me, honestly, yes, going off of everything that's already out there, Kirby would make the most sense if they wanted to make a survivor the killer in this movie. She has the most likely chance of being the killer in Scream 6 if they were to explore that route. She's in the FBI, which I imagine would give her access to old Woodsboro evidence that we know is popping up around this movie. Uh, or at least have her in a position to abuse power to gain access to this stuff more so than someone like Sam, Tara, Chad, Mindy. I know in the past you've had Roman breaking into the Woodsboro PD to get Sid's files and the fact that in Scream 3 a lot of stuff that Roman is doing you could pinpoint it logically on someone like Kincaid but it wasn't Kincaid. But I think if we are once again having Ghostface doing shady activities that tie into stuff public officials or FBI agents in this matter have access to i'd imagine the narrative this time would be pinned to someone who genuinely has access to this evidence and kirby is definitely the most likely out of the survivors going through what we know that would don the ghost face costume this time around that i could see it being her reasons for the spree could be tied to trauma from the events of screen four hayden's only like what five feet tall so i expect to see comments about her height down below so i'm already ahead of you there so I'll end this section of the video by saying I don't believe that she will be the killer at all. Again, this was mostly to discuss who has the most likely chance out of the survivors to be the killer, considering everything we know going into the upcoming film. Out of all of the survivors, the person who has the most chance to be the killer in my mind is indeed Kirby Reed, because she is now in the FBI. She could have access to old crime evidence more so than any of the other people that are not tied up in being a public official like a police officer or even what she's doing working with the fbi so jumping into the next topic we got our first look at the wrath of becky which is the sequel to becky again from 2020 if you recall that movie it was basically an r-rated home alone before we had a movie like violent night which released this past december with david harbour if you haven't already go check that out it's a great movie lulu wilson is back as the titular character becky and this film is actually going to have its premiere at the south by southwest film festival later this year in march the synopsis reads after living off the grid for two years becky finds herself going toe 
toe-to-toe -to -toe against Daryl, the leader of a fascist organization, on the eve of an organized attack. The cast this time is including uh, Wilson, Matt Angel, Courtney Gaines, Aaron Della Villa, Michael Ciro, Denise Burst Fernandez, Jill Larson, and Kate Siegel. Now, I'm not going to lie. When you mention Kate Siegel, that just ate immediately for any project boost my excitement if i was already excited for the project and then you tell me kate siegel is in this if you are familiar with the project mike flanagan does many of you also probably recognize this is mike flanagan's wife you know how phenomenal kate siegel is as an actress and that she is i would say the queen of monologues so <laughs> i'm not expecting her to have a monologue that is very captivating in this upcoming movie but the sheer mention of her name that's enough for me to be even more excited about this upcoming sequel to becky more than i already was because i think becky was a was a nice fun movie that was released in 2020 when they had everyone going into lockdown it was a fun horror movie that definitely would remind somebody of a movie like home alone but just with a lot more gore and graphic content of course now just to round this video out by talking about evil dead rise evil dead rise is also premiering at south by southwest as well so if you didn't know this this should be exciting news for you this again will occur later this march prior to its theatrical release which i believe is also occurring that same month like a few weeks after scream 6 a horror fans are going to be eating in screen or we're going to be eating in the month of march i mean to say so we'll get to read first reactions very soon once this occurs i know the trailer for this dropped a few days ago but i avoided it to be honest because i've decided this will be the movie i go into completely blind this year and a lot of that was inspired by the reactions i have heard from the trailer which are just nothing but praise for this upcoming project and i haven't seen some of the reactions i saw i'm like i haven't seen people react like this over a trailer in quite some time maybe i'll do my best just to avoid it uh, i have seen the official images everything looks like it's going to be very terrifying looks like it's going to be a fun movie uh, this movie of course has a plot following a road weary beth pays an overdue visit to her older sister ellie who is raising three kids on her own in cramped la apartment the sister's reunion is cut short by discovery of a mysterious book deep in the bowels of ellie's building giving rise to flesh possessing demons and thrusting beth into a primal battle for survival as she is faced with the most nightmarish version of motherhood imaginable again evil dead rise is going to have its world premiere at the south by southwest film festival in march a few days before its theatrical release that same month you'll get to hear some of the first reactions fresh out of that premiere can't wait to see what people have to say about this movie i might end up budging and go ahead and just watching the trailer because i've seen so much praise for it but i'm trying to hold against watching that i have something tells me this might be one of the best horror movies of the year let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there's a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video